Hello and welcome to the first lesson of the Ajax Foundation's course of Rails Karate. In this lesson, we'll set up our all our workspace or development environment for work with Ajax. So let's get started. Um, well, before we start, don't forget to follow us in our social networks. We are in Twitter as at Bastion Belandia, that's me, and at Rails Karate. We are also in Facebook. And of course, thanks for your support by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Uh, we are don't forget to to subscribe to our newsletter in RailsKarate.com here right here. Okay, so let's start. Um, you can configure uh, your, your workspace locally, but you will need a web server and all the pages you serve uh, must pass through uh, through that web server. Uh, you can install the web server by yourself, but we suggest you to use an environment like c9.io. That io, sorry. So here in c9.io, you can create a workspace with a web server and everything set up with one click. So we honestly um, recommend you to use Cloud9, uh, so we can focus on learning and practicing instead of installations and configurations in, our, in your machine. So let's start. Uh, well, I just click to add a new project and I will name it Ajax-Foundations-S Sorry, in, in. And here in the templates we are going to choose PHP plus Apache. So let's create the block space um, let's wait a minute. All right, so now our workspace is ready. In with one click, we now have a development environment with a, with Apache as a web server and with PHP and everything set up for us. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we want to do is to install Node.js because we need to use CoffeeScript. Uh, we want to use CoffeeScript. Uh, instead of Java, instead of plain JavaScript, so let's use CoffeeScript. For that, we need Node.js. Uh, in the description of the video, you will find this URL, this link. Uh, here is the, the instructions for install Node.js in in our server. So I'm going to here to Debian and Ubuntu based Linux distributions. I'm going to copy this command for install Node.js for. I'm going to install it. It can take a minute, so let's wait. Great. Uh, now we need to. Well, we just download the installate the installation file, uh, the, the repository of Node.js. Now we need to install it in our machine. So let's copy that command and paste it here. It takes a minute, so let's wait. Great. Now the the the, the other thing we need is to install the essential packages of Node.js. So here is the command third one. If this page changes through the years, of course it will change. You just need to search how the commands for install Node.js in your web server, I mean you in your server and that's it in a new Ubuntu distribution or Linux distribution. Great. Now we have the essential packages and uh, the next thing we want to do is to um, install CoffeeScript interpreter. So for that, we need to install using the npm npm install dash g coffee script. So let's install it. It is installing. Right now we have our CoffeeScript installed. Let's see if it works. I'm going to create here in the root of the project a folder called cf and within that folder I'm going to create a file called main.copy okay now let's see if, the, if it is working I'm going to add a console log here uh, hello world let's save it and uh, the next thing we want to do is to run the compiler of the command of for compile from CoffeeScript to JavaScript, and it is coffee dash o that is o for output uh, to js 
and then compile and write cwcf to the from the from this folder. So let's see if it's working and great. It it created a new folder called JS, and within that folder we have our main.js with the JavaScript generated. So we need to generate the JavaScript without this anonymous function. Okay. So for that reason, for that purpose, we need to change the command a little bit. We need to add an option called bear. So with this option, now we can generate our uh, JavaScript without that anonymous function. So let's see, and great, it worked. So you can see, now our JavaScript is global, it's generated as we expect. Right now, let's finish generating the structure of our project. The next thing I want to do is to create a new file called index.html. Great. Uh, now, um, this is the page that is will be called in when we access the this web page. So let's take a look if everything is working. Uh, I'm going to run the server. And it's running here. As you can see in the console, we get this URL. This is the URL of our server. Then open a new tab, paste the new URL, and you shall see a blank page. And great, we got a blank page. Now let's see if it's working. I'm going to add to index.html some text. And if we reload, here it is a test we expected. Great, now we have our web server, coffee script, and everything installed and ready for start creating our first Ajax records. Uh, in the next lesson, we are going to uh, create an, the, our first example of Ajax. So we, you will see the steps of an Ajax records and how it works in the practice. So see you in the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us and to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you. Bye-bye.